Hey guys, welcome to Cinelinks.com's Recap of the Week. On Thursday, September 18th, Fox announced the long overdue theatrical release of Deadpool. On February 12, 2016, the Merc with a Mouth will grace theaters with Ryan Reynolds rumored to play as Wade Wilson. Unfortunately, Fox has also announced that Assassin's Creed's movie has been delayed to an undisclosed date in 2016. Also, another movie is Fantastic Four Reboot, which has been delayed from June to August 7, 2015. In other news, Dan Aykroyd has come out and said that he would like Ghostbusters to expand to a Marvel-styled universe. In this, Aykroyd wants to grow the brand and make movies such as a prequels, Ghostbusters 3, and even an all-female team. Former co-star Bill Murray has yet to agree to a third film, but has said he approves of an all-female cast, saying he would see it and the costumes would probably be better. Straight out of an undisclosed location, J.J. Abrams and the crew of Star Wars released a video giving us our first look at the iconic Millennium Falcon. This video is a response to a recent harmless feud between Zack Snyder, who is filming Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, and J.J. Abrams, who is filming Star Wars at the same time. Take a look. In gaming news, the Tokyo Game Show is currently in high gear. One of the major announcements was that from Square Enix. The gaming company has announced Final Fantasy director Tatsuya Nomura has been replaced by Hajima Tabata as the director of Final Fantasy XV. Square Enix states that this change will allow Nomura to focus on Kingdom Hearts 3. They also released a test trailer for Final Fantasy XV. Take a look. No. Finally, Sega has announced an all-new Survivor Mode DLC for their brand new game, Alien Isolation, which is set to release October 7, 2014. The new mode will be available October 28th, will offer five add-on packs featuring new maps, challenges, and new playable characters with a variety of enemy types between you and your escape. I'm Matt Maliaros. Keep Cinelinks.com your daily destination for news, editorials, reviews, interviews, and more.